If you look at the bottom of the sink, you will notice that something obvious grows there, and they are quite strong, even when I'm trying to flush it with water. And you can see it's still there. So today, I'll take a closer look. First, I clean and dry the sink. Then I tape some slide and leave it for a few days. Now harvest the slide and do some standing, so I can put it under microscope. And this is what it looks like after three days on the bottom of the sink. When bacteria grow, they often develop something called biofilm. It's a kind of layer mix of bacteria and other material. You can think of it as the、uh, settlement built by the pioneer bacteria to get a foothold on a new land. The settlement works very much like the settlement built by human. It provides bacteria with shelter, resources, and even jobs. Bacteria that live in the biofilm behave differently than the one that lives individually. They interact a lot with each other and form their society. You can find partially differentiated bacteria that have their own role to play in the society. In other words, they get their new jobs. This is the one that grows for seven days in the sink. You can see there are huge differences. Bacteria become larger but decrease in number. And there's much more extracellular materials around. The development of biofilm undergoes several stages to build a thriving community for bacteria, and with the surrounding environment. Biofilm is a vast and important field in bacteriology, and it's being studied intensively all around the world. And you can find biofilm everywhere. So next time, try to take a closer look at them. You might find something interesting. That's it for today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.